While eagles are not an endangered species, they are protected by law. And as our country develops more and more sources of renewable power, we need to protect our natural resources as we do so. The goal is to do everything that we can to understand how birds interact with the wind farms and come up with methodologies to run the wind farms such that we reduce the bird strikes. About a year and a half, two years ago, Eric approached me, said he wanted to start using his radars to detect birds. We were testing a radar technology uh, that was originally designed to detect and track small aviation uh, aircraft and control the warning lights on turbines, and we're now extending the capability uh, to detect and track eagles. We've already verified that we can use the radar to uh, detect the, uh, the eagle. Uh, we're using this to analyze uh, their size from a radar's perspective, their speed, and their flight patterns. And we can use that information to develop algorithms uh, to track the birds and make sure they're the birds of interest. The ability to, to actually distinguish between a, a protected species versus another species that's not protected is very important for the, the wind farm operators. The intent is to detect a bird if it's an eagle and if it's in jeopardy from a wind turbine, order that wind turbine or a group of wind turbines to shut down, thereby preventing a, a strike with a rotating turbine. I am leading the project known as IdentiFlight, which is a camera-based system to detect eagles at distance. We began development of the technology through collaboration with Boulder Imaging back in 2012. The birds have a GPS uh, a data logger and that GPS information then we can correlate back to our system and verify that it's uh, accurately measuring its position of speed and heading. The limited shutdown of specific turbines is how IdentiFlight protects both eagles and the energy production from clean renewable wind power. I think the collaboration is important. That it really takes you know, the private and the, and the uh, public partnership together uh, to solve big problems. And I think it's an effective example of that.